what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i want to discuss some um the possibility of Stu mocker coming back in the future of the scream franchise now this is going to be negating the fact that uh let's say Stu mocker did somehow manage to survive the events of the first original screen film now if we all if those of those of you who are, are a fan of the scream series go ahead and just give this video a thumbs up uh for everyone who is a fan and who knows about the original intent for screen 3 you know that Stu was originally intended to be the mastermind in that film and kind of just tie everything back to the beginning bring everything full circle we were supposed to find out that he ended up surviving the television to the face and all the other stuff he endured from the first movie and he's been in jail or prison this whole time uh and he was orchestrating these uh events in the third film that would have just been spearheaded by or just would have been like a a prank of sorts from a group of stab fans um uh, i personally don't really like the the stab bands part but as far as like it being a prank anyway i don't like it being a prank uh but getting into what i would do if Stu were to come back let's say they did go with that idea and they brought him back uh kevin williamson originally had plans to bring him bring him back in scream 3 matthew lillard I, matthew lillard i be, lillard i believe would love to reprise that character and if they were to bring him back i would kind of do it like this so let's say in the events of scream 5 uh Stu isn't in this one though let's say uh at the very end of screen five after the killers revealed and after sydney and whoever else is with her possibly kirby or let's say let's say even that maybe uh it's just sydney and kirby and um dewey and gail they don't make it they die let's say it's just sydney and kirby dewey and gail have died in this film uh whoever the killer was they've beaten the they've beaten the, the most re recent ghost face killing spree they survived yet another killing spree this means sydney's fifth go around kirby's second uh then at the very end they're like just walking and talking and then here's a plot twist here's a plot twist that comes in uh they say to each other sydney can make the situation or make the uh comment saying this person was just as crazy as jill was and then kirby could be like yeah I wonder how she's doing that's the plot twist right there that's the plot twist nowhere in screen five or anywhere throughout the film do they talk about or mention jill up until the very end and then you find out that jill ended up surviving that gunshot it it we, we, of course if she survived i mean sydney did not shoot her in the heart she missed the heart and jill survived that gunshot we find out that jill is alive she's been in prison right along with uh who i'm about to get to she's been in prison this whole time and that's the plot twist that's the ending of screen five we're going to end off on a cliffhanger now it's now after kirby says i wonder how she's doing that's when screen five is going to go into the prison we're going to see jill and it's going to be a big dramatic sequence of us seeing the back of her head and then we see an officer or somebody in the prison area walking up to her saying jill roberts and then she turns around saying uh and then she turns around with a smile on her face or something or just turns around in general and there's some dramatic music in the background kind of just to make the audience go oh my goodness jill's alive um because i know originally i believe jill was supposed to survive and she was supposed to be the killer in scream five again and whatever that was going to end up being I, I would love to see how that would have turned out but we end up finding out at the end of screen five that jill is alive uh and then what i would like to see is we see jill interact with an unseen figure she goes to this unseen figure and she says it's time uh this unseen figure is never shown to the audience we're saving this for scream six now going into scream six we know that jill is going to be we know jill is going to be the killer we know she's going to have something to do with the next ghost face killing spree uh and then in scream six what i would like to see is we the audience know that jill is one of the killers but we have not yet to see who she was talking to when she said it's time and then comes the big reveal at the very end like halfway through scream six it's by the time scream six is reaching its end uh sydney and kirby they're well aware of that jill is involved but jill is teasing the arrival of someone from sydney's past or someone that sydney probably shouldn't have forgotten about and then we find out that Jill's partner is none other than Stu Mocker, who survived, uh, who survived his wounds or survived the TV to the face at the end of the screen. And him and Jill are teaming up 
to uh, take out Sydney once and for all. Uh, that would be a perfect cap off to the series, in my opinion, in terms of just just fan fiction, just fan fiction at this point. Um, we have Jill from Screen 4 who survived. And then we have uh, Stu who survived and has been in prison this whole amount of time. Jill and Stu met in the same prison, uh, been conspiring to get back at Sydney. Uh, and of course, Jill, Jill would break, break out. Uh, and then also what I would do is I would, I would basically have Jill break out. The only thing that's going to be an issue here making this work is if they both break out of prison, how is it going to look if Jill is the only one who gets exposed as being broken out? I would imagine it would also say that Stu Mocker broke out. So I don't know how that would go. But just kind of throwing that out there, I, I kind of like or would like to see a dynamic duo between Stu and Jill. Turning out that they both survived. And now they're conspiring against Sydney to take her out once and for all. That's just my mind going into places that I, would, that I think uh, I would like to see if it's done effectively and written properly. And I think Kevin Williamson can make some sense out of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Um, in the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And then down in the description or down in the comment section, rather, I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group. Join that Facebook group and stay up to date on the channel. Get some Jeepers Creepers 4 updates and anything regarding uh, the Jeepers Creepers franchise. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.